the British started designing some really nasty lethal stuff where their bullets would tumble and fragment in people. Oh, so, God. Yeah, really, really nasty. There's a great line from Ernst Junger's Storm of Steel in the trenches of World War I, and he's talking about the Hague Convention, which banned expanding bullets, basically hollow points. Oh. <laughs> and he was complaining about how the British bullets were specifically designed to tumble and fragment, and they were effectively an expanding bullet, and they caused these really, really nasty wounds. On and rifles? Germans. Those were from rifles, yeah, from the Lee Enfield 303 wow. cartridge. But even when you don't have that kind of bullet design, velocity has an effect in and of itself. When you look at, for example, footage of ballistic gel being hit by a projectile, you'll notice that it kind of expands, like especially slow-mo footage, it expands and you get this cavitation in the middle of the ballistic gel. So where it cavitates a lot, it starts tearing around the cavitation. Mm -hmm. Now the human body is incredibly elastic and stretchy and it can take a lot of cavitation. But when you hit a human body, it's kind of like hitting water or something. It splashes and you get this splash out of yeah. the bullet wound, it starts expanding and expanding, and it can expand a little bit at certain velocities. But once you get up to about 2,200 feet per second, and especially as you go over that, as it sails through your body so fast, it just shreds the tissues around it. 